Stand by. In 1904, New York City was in an uproar. The town and the city was infested with juvenile delinquents. These children were bruised, they were battered, they were homeless, they were starving. They were mad at the world, and they were mad at themselves. They were full of hatred, and for that, they caused big scenes. It wasn't until a court clerk took it upon himself to recruit volunteers throughout the city. He sat them down and he said, I need your help. I'm going to match you with one of these children. Now you can imagine the stress of these people, these volunteers, having to deal with these children that have been destruction, have caused destruction in the city. Well, it wasn't until a year later that they experienced something very eye-opening. Each one of these children had changed. They had become soft and there was no more destruction. This was the start of Big Brothers Big Sisters of America. Little did I know that 110 years later, this organization would completely change my life. Five years ago, I came to Dixie State University. I was young, I was crazy, I was ready to get my college degree, get out, and I was all in it for me. I was in it to win it, I was going to graduate, I was gonna become filthy rich, I had this incredible plan for myself. And it wasn't until I had an experience that kind of slapped me in the face and woke me up. I'd been very self-centered and I had never really noticed that. Um, I won Miss Dixie State University last October. And when you win a state title or a local title, you have to pair with an organization. Now this requires lots of commitment and time and volunteering. And I'm terrible with commitment. I don't like it at all but this experience in general shaped me. I was sitting in class one day and a lady by the name of Terry Iverson came in and she talked to me about Big Brothers Big Sisters. Now I was sitting in the back and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a year commitment. <laughs> I have to be on my best behavior because you're partner with a child, it's a mentoring program. I wasn't ready for it. But a week went by and I kind of contemplated it and I was like, you know what, I can give up a year. I can give up a year, I can swear off a year to this organization. Well, because of this, I met my best friend, Skyly. Skyly is the most sassy, spunky, beautiful, humble, energetic little thing you've ever met. She is my pride and joy, and she is the best thing that's ever happened to me. The way we met was very different. Um, usually what happens is when you are little, you go to, you get referred to this program. And her school counselor referred her to Big Brothers Big Sisters about the time that she needed it. She had discovered so many things in her life and she was going through a lot and so she sought out help the exact same time that I was seeking out to help someone. Now, many kids come to this organization because they've had instances such as poverty, abuse, death, substance abuse, and emotional abuse. Luckily, Skyly hasn't experienced all of those. But what was wonderful is that we came together, and after much of matching, interviewing, background checks, all of that, we were the perfect match. And let me tell you, she is my perfect match. She is the perfect little for me, even though when we walk into the store, she's about the same height as me. And I'll be like, this is my little Skyly, and she'll always tease me that she'll be taller than me in less than a year. So it's cool that <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm grateful that she's growing, and I'm not, but it's okay. <laughs> Skyly has become my best friend, and I am there to mentor her. I teach her that just because something's going wrong in her home life, or girls at school are bullying her, that there's more to life than that. There's more to life than what she's living right now, and there's more to life than she can ever imagine. If she wants, she can wear the crown on her head. She can be Miss Dixie, she can be a scientist, she can be a mathematician, she can be anything she wants to be. But right now in her life, what she needs is someone to look up to. And that's what I am. What's interesting is a lot of people think that this program is for the littles. But they are very wrong. Because this program has shaped me. 
because Skyly teaches me every time I take her out that I'm good enough. Because in her eyes, the only person she wants to be is me. And that's the most humbling experience because in my eyes, I am imperfect and I am, you know, trying to teach her great things. But in return, she's teaching me far more. This organization has completely shaped my life. It's made me who I am today, and it's, felt, it's filled a void that I did not recognize until I joined this. There are many kids in this community alone and nationwide that are suffering from many different issues in their home life, and not even that, but mentally and physically. All they need is someone to look up to. All they need is someone to wrap their arms around them and tell them everything's going to be OK, because that's what they need to hear. It's interesting because I always say that Skyly's more grown up than me because she's faced far more than I've ever could have imagined. But because this experience and because of being simple and joining an organization, it's completely shaped me. Now, my challenge to you is if you feel like you're self-consumed right now, if you feel like there is a void that needs to be filled, if you want to change someone's life and in return have yours changed, Join this organization and become a big to someone little.